jumping straight into this tutorial. This hair is by the Capelli Hair Store. I found this wig on Amazon Prime. It came in this cute little green bag with a wig cap. Here is the hair straight out of the pack. Uh, so yeah, I have so many things to tell you guys about this hair. First of all, uh, the color is really, really pretty, but as you can tell, just based on my screen, um, the recording and what you see on my hand, this color is not what I thought it was going to be at all, but that's okay. So we're just gonna get straight into it. The lace is not HD at all. This is a regular brown lace. There's nothing HD about this lace and the lace is not thin at all. This is actually one of the thickest laces I've ever had. So I'm gonna do my best to bleach these knots. As you can see, I'm going in and putting little squares all along the frontal. Um, so that way when I go in and bleach the knots, it allows for ventilation and it'll also allow the hair to stand up in a way that if the bleach seeps through it won't get onto that brown hair like too much so and the ven the ventilation is going to be nice because the bleach has to heat up in order to do its thing so by the time that all of the bleach is on the hair it'll be proper ventilated and then i'll cover it up so that the uh, heat can do its thing underneath of the frontal so yeah I'm just putting these little squares in the hair as you can see I highly recommend this I'm not sure where I got this from but the method really works and also when you're bleaching the hair you'll see so here we got our blue flash bleach our 40 volume developer these are all the things that you're gonna need you guys so I just thought I'd go ahead and get them out for you and the next thing you'll need is your shimmer light shampoo with your got to be glue spray you're gonna need some pump it up the spritz gold spray and some tinted lace spray I actually ended up using foundation so you don't really need that but you will need this this is the magic root cover-up just to spray it on the part frontal and this is just some heat protectant spray my favorite this is some old gummy glue that i've got by slay obey uh like a couple years ago and then of course you're gonna need a mixing bowl and a brush and then these are just some pins to be able to stick onto my wig head so that way i can hold the wig down when I need to so and then as you've seen I used rubber bands for the little parts and you're also gonna need some gloves just so you can protect your hands from the bleach so this frontal is all done how I need it to be done in order for me to begin bleaching so I'm gonna bleach this in my sink I feel like this is the easiest way to avoid getting bleach all over the place by the time I'm ready to rinse it out. Also, uh, I'm gonna cover it up in the sink so that the heat can do its thing while it's bleaching. So yeah, I'm not really measuring how much bleach and how much developer I need. I just kind of eyeball it until I get the consistency that I'm looking for. So really this should be the consistency that you are looking for. It's nice and thick, um, but it's not too thick. It's thick enough to where I can push it through the frontal just a little bit and you can kind of see it just kind of sitting right over those knots but it's not too thick to the point where it's going to start running down any hair strands so this is about the consistency that you should be going for and yeah so let's just get right into it we're going to start to apply this bleach to this frontal and you can see my technique is more of a dabbing it on kind of patting it in um, I'm just going in section by section and chunk by chunk and the really great part about that ventilation process that I showed y'all earlier is you can see exactly how much bleach is making it through the other side of the frontal through those little parts through each and the each individual little square that you made so yeah this is how it should be looking so i ended up letting this bleach sit on this hair for about 20 minutes and you guys don't be fooled i'm not gonna i didn't really record um how many times i had to bleach the knots on this frontal but i bleached the knots on this frontal three different times three different times three different days just because i really i love the wig i love the hair i love that there's no fillers in the hair that's probably my favorite part about this wig is that the hair strands are all the way through like the wind blows and you don't see a bunch of like short hairs in it but anyways long story short as you guys can see after the first round of bleaching i am just washing it out with the shimmer light shampoo and also with the ventilating the ventilation process that i showed y'all y'all can see how easy it is for me to wash the bleach out of the frontal with out dragging the bleach all throughout the hair so highly recommend that ventilating process so yeah that was it for the beginning portion of this video um now you guys will kind of see how i lay down my wig cap i'm not gonna do a full-blown tutorial on that just because i think it's super super basic but yeah that's all i've got for you guys right now and then i will be talking to y'all throughout the rest of the video So 
here's the hair. I feel like I look crazy as heck. Like, what if my forehead was really that big? Oh, Ow, jump, jump scare. scare. <laughs> okay, so I don't know. I think I'm gonna. I feel intuitively to cut it, so that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm just gonna cut right here and about right here. So that way I can do this front part first. I'm gonna trust that that is on there. Like so. You can see there's some parts where it's kind of white, like right there. Granted, my hair will be flipped over, just kind of how you see it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spritz it directly onto the hair. Okay, of course I got it on my fucking forehead. But that really just got rid of all of that white cast. So it was kind of worth it. And then uh, to get the spritz out later, we can definitely just like wash it or do some dry shampoo or something like that. Like that. Now, I feel like it's on there pretty secure. You know what I didn't like? I didn't like that um, the lace spray. I would have much rather have used my own foundation because not only did that stuff like take forever to dry, but it smells terrible. And I don't know if it's because maybe it's been sitting at my local Sally's for long because like I was surprised to see it at Sally's like very surprised to see that product at Sally's, but uh... Okay, so I got my hot comb warming up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the lace finally. And uh, I'm so excited because, do you guys see this color? Look how pretty and like natural it flows with me. I kind of wish my brows were this color. And I'm going to try to cut flat against my head. Bring this up a little bit. And you know what's funny? They said that this lace was HD lace. In my opinion, it's giving just regular brown lace. It's not thin. I've had HD lace before from a company that wasn't even claiming HD lace. And I was like, hmm, this lace is mad thin. But this right here, it's not terrible, but it's definitely doesn't remind me of anything like HD lace. So that's cut. Uh, probably gonna peel it back a little more and cut more. You guys see that? You can see a little bit of a white cast here, but it's not bad. It's really not that bad. And especially because I already know how I'm gonna fix it. Oh, that's not laid down at all. And it's getting kind of bulky. Hmm. So I'm gonna take my rat tail comb and just open the bottle and dip my spritz in there. So we want this down. And that's working. Just like a hit it with. So I'm just gonna hold here. Melt it. I love that. And the spritz is mad cold. I feel like when it feels like that up against the skin, it really works really well. It's like way colder than the free spray in my opinion.
Okay, so this is as good as the hairline's gonna get, honestly, in my opinion. That's just how I feel. So I'm gonna take this now before I get this fucking spray in my eye. Just gonna comb this hair back. And then I'm going to do my band. And that's on there. You can see I got it. It's giving gum. Look at that. Ugh, I don't like that. It's so messy. It's all over my nails. It's okay. I think that that's a result of me not um, using the alcohol pads. But when this dries down, it should be secure enough to where I could cut what needs to be cut, but then still add more of the spray if I need to. So now, finally, the part I have been waiting for the absolute most is... <sighs> okay. So this is 20 inches long. Let's see if you guys can... inches long I really could have went I wanted it to come like right here so and that's why I'm gonna cut it so next time I can definitely go for 18 but this is where she's at take my hot comb oh this is what I like to do with my hot comb I'd be forgetting what I like to do so this frontal doesn't go that far back Right, so I'm going to part my part, how I like my part, kind of like that, kind of with more of a more of a, right there. Now, where the track is right here, I'm gonna make another part back here, all the way around the frontal. To take my hot comb and hot comb that down, back it down. So it's super flat. So that way the hair is covering the track back there. Now we straighten. This hair is very soft. And so far my experience with this hair has been, it's been okay because I just feel like as light as this hair is, that the knots should have bleached a little bit better for me. Ooh, that's straining really well. Actually gonna turn the heat down on this so I find that with straining hair it's now at 370 it's not really about heat as much as it's about tension so that's why I take this versus like that little rat tail comb and because it it has more tension up against the hair the heat can do more of what the heat does naturally but without this tension and you're using high amounts of heat in my opinion you're just burning the hair and that's a method that I actually use on my natural hair. So when I do my natural hair, I only do one pass and um, I use this brush instead of a, damn, this is longer than 20 inches. This is a long ass 20 inch. And I don't really like that. I don't like when the hair is too long because I prefer thickness over length these days. So if I wanted 20 inches, that means I really wanted 20 inches. That way I can have more, ooh, that's hot more thickness, but that's okay. The hair is really, really pretty. This is probably my new favorite hair color on myself, like easily. If the lace was a little more thin, I would be so in love with this hair, but I'm not gonna say anything too soon because I'm 
you know, you don't want to judge a book by its cover. So I'm going to finish customizing it and I will be right back when the hair is completely straightened. So, okay, so I'm back and obviously you guys can see I straightened the hair. This is what it's giving. Um, this is where it sits at 20 inches. Now that I'm, sh now that it's straightened, I can see it's kind of thin, but I'm not really mad because I'm going to cut it. So it's going to be shorter, which will make it look kind of thicker. Um, here's the, you can see this band isn't even on my lace anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off. You can see it's on. Um, I'm not going to do the part yet. I'm going to cut it. quite a bit but this is kind of where it starts to thin out anyways so I'm just gonna cut okay that's how much we cut off solid four inches I'm gonna say be able to see see how uneven that is right there we're just gonna even that out so it's all getting in my face <sighs> now that that's that we're gonna take this off and see how we did Now I'm going to do what I really wanted to do and put some curls in the hair. I think I'm going to curl the hair either, I'm going to curl it in, but before I do that, I'm going to just give myself some layers. crazy on that side. I 
I really hope that this hair will hold a curl. Cause that's how I envisioned this hair was kind of like body wave. I might have to curl it with my like flat iron. See, that's cute. I was kind of going for that kind of a curl. Mm. Girl, I still gotta cut my ear off there right here. So that's what we'll do now. Curl my ear tab. So I'm not liking these curls at all and they're not really holding. So I'm actually gonna curl my hair with my flat iron and ooh, wipe all this hair off of my face. So let's do that. Ooh. I'm gonna take the hair from right here and I'm gonna just start curling. See, that's pretty. That's pretty. That's a much prettier curl. Um, so I'm gonna take this whole section and redo it. I'm really kind of wanting to bring this down. It's funny how like a flat iron curls, wow, that's what I was going for. Curls way better than the, uh, my actual curling iron. So, I'm just gonna keep going. It's my freaking 25th birthday, you guys. I don't feel 25 at all. Everyone keeps telling me, you're a baby, you're a baby. I don't feel like a baby. I mean, I, I do feel like a baby, but at the same time, I kind of feel a little bit old. Like, 25 is like, I'm getting up there. But anyways, I'm excited. I do like this color a lot. I think I'm going to just come back to y'all when I'm all the way done with curling it. Okay, so this is what I'm working with. I love it curled. I feel like it's much prettier now. So, yeah. Curl it away from my face. Curl, curl, curl. Hmm, didn't really curl that well. that curled nicely okay so this is the final look actually we're gonna do one more thing I totally just remembered we are going to try something different And 
that just gave me a really, really defined part. Um, So, that really just made the part way more better, way better. Um, what do I not like about it? Well, I still gotta clean this up. I actually like that there's no baby hairs. Let's turn this off. And I think that it'll be able to hold a curl better when I put my roller sets in. But I've got errands to run, so I'm not even gonna do all that. But I am going to fix all of this glue so I'll be right back okay, so I was able to find more of these alcohol pre-pad wipes um, I'm just gonna rip that open and I'm going to do my best to get this off and alcohol is helping it come right off so that's cool Matter of fact, I'm going to just take this one and kind of run it across the whole thing just to get that shiny look off of my forehead. Meanwhile, these hairs should be able to go back. Okay, that's kind of lifting a little bit right there, but we're going to fix that. We're just going to get all this alcohol off of, I mean, all of this spritz off of my face then I'm not even gonna fix this today because I'm hungry I've got places to go and things to do so I'm gonna do this right here Ooh. I think I like this gummy glue I wish I would have did this part first and being that my birthday is tomorrow, I may completely remove this and reinstall the whole fucking wig. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But pretty much I'm gonna kind of peel it back and chop this stuff off. And that already looks way better. Like I can go outside now. And try not to cut your skin. Let me do this. Okay, peel it back a little more. And you're just gonna cut, cut, cut. Okay, that actually looks way more presentable. Okay, but you know how we're gonna do it. We're going to open our spray bottle up and I'm actually gonna take my makeup brush and my alcohol and I'm gonna wipe all of that hairspray that we just sprayed apart with right there and I'm gonna actually dip this in the spritz and then put it oh that worked out really really well actually just now do too much. I'm actually just gonna hold this right here so that it can dry while I'm tugging on it. Ooh, that looks so much better. That looks so much better. Okay, in person on camera, you guys can't really see what I'm doing, but that's what I'm doing. Well, that's still kind of wet. I'm gonna try to get all these hairs up out of the way but nothing's perfect, so that's cool though. Cause that's still stuck on my head while it just made it pretty clear. I'm gonna put more back here. Yeah. Now it's actually melting into my scalp. It looks so much better. Just keep going in all the parts I need to. Right there. That looks really good though. Let's give it a natural hairline. Kind of giving natural hairline. It's also just giving wiggy. 
And because I'm exhausted, I'm literally gonna stop, but I have a lash appointment. I'm not gonna make it for my birthday. She couldn't squeeze me in, but I have a lash appointment in a few days. And so I'm gonna come back <laughs> and show you guys how it looks then. But this is what I'm working with for now. And I am gonna go in and run my errands and go do what I gotta do. I feel like this is good enough for now. So I will see y'all. I'm gonna beat my face and I'll see y'all later.